What's up guys, it's John Glass Monster 3 here, and today I'd like to show you a game that I created real quick, like, did not take 15 hours, mostly me realizing that I made some time for a mistake, but, um, yeah. Whoa, why is it lag? Why is it choking? Why are you choking? Um, so, in the game, as you just saw, there was a red enemy. When they die, they turn black. So, both enemies are actually red, but one's a darker red, like this guy. In order to kill this guy, you actually have to um, directly hit them. Now, there's some buildings here. Um, the buildings could be, you know, useful or not really useful whatsoever. <laughs> you can blow them up. Ah. Thank you, Crow 18. Thank you, Crow 18. Oh, God. I just, I just love it. Now, um, basically, the way this game works is pretty simple. Um, let's go to this one. Basically, I have a spawner. I have, I have um, a dedicated game object just for spawning um, enemies. Um, it just contains a whole bunch of spawn locations. And basically, it randomly picks them. There's a maximum amount, and there's a um, time. And I have three of these set up. So yeah. And then I have another one dedicated to spawning buildings randomly. Uh, yeah. So another inter one interesting thing about this game is, oh my Jesus, it's an ISO. <laughs> <coughs> Other than the fact that it's using um, that texture, um, way over, not even near this, the whole entire rest of the level. My God, why is it lagging so much? Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. It's like that and the first person short. Kind of focusing on them. Oh, it goes to the. Oh, okay. So I need, I need the map for this. All right. I, I use that for protection, and now let's go to. Come on. Okay. The. Oh my God. Zoom for your life. Oh my god, please. Okay. Let me just go like this and then rotate myself around. Rotate myself around. Alright. Thank you. Okay. The visible map is somewhere in this direction. This object that's way old. Oh, below me. I should actually let me get the let me see if I can get the this one right now. Yes. Okay. Whoa, whoa, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that either. Okay. So if I have hold selected. Oh my god, this is so terrible. You see, I didn't expect it to lag so badly. <laughs> and that's just throwing me off. What the heck is it? I don't see it. Ah. Okay, okay. I think it's off in this direction. Oh, wait, no. It's way over there. Okay. Throw it to myself. Okay. So, I play this for you. Okay. And 
I will take escape. And I will to go to like here. Um, there's a random MDD magic just for holding these broken versions of the buildings. Um, so it's just there to um, disperse them. So if somehow something hits this building, something hits that building, the other buildings won't break up. So when um, so when you uh, break another building, at least only one of them was broken, not all of them. I used to have them together, it did not work out because um, parts of buildings would get out, and they still do, but parts of buildings would get out and it would cause basically problems. Yeah. Um, is there anything else? interesting about this game. Um, all the models except for the Unity default capsules came from me the textures except for you know the plain boring textures from Unity. So jaw. Well oh, yeah and the construction suit guy guy. I'm almost done with this game. All I really have to do is create a losing function which would be um there being too many enemies, and then now we just have to create a new menu system and I'm done. So, yeah. That's the job. That's the except of this video. So, see you guys later. And hopefully, something happens. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh,